Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The problem with registering domain names isn't the actual registration process. That's pretty simple and straightforward these days. It's not even that they're not affordable, because certainly they're pretty cheap. But the problem is that all the good domains are taken. The domain names, these web addresses. I mean, I registered LockerGnome.com way back in 1996, I believe, and it costs about $70 to $80. And I've owned it ever since. Of course, it doesn't cost that much every year. It's become a lot more affordable to hold on to domain names. But finding a domain name sometimes can be a bit of a challenge. It's one of the reasons why I had this particular website created to help you become inspired. What you do at domains.tagjag.com is you give it a web address, any web address on the planet, a news article, a blog post, just a regular old website. It will scan that particular web page pull out two random words, slap a .com on the end of those two random words, and then tell you if that .com, that domain name, is taken. And if it's not, you can register it. Domains.tagjag.com. It asks you right up front, look at this web page, and I've already keyed in a story about the moon, since apparently the moon is in the news. It's going to give me, hopefully, some good examples. Uh, and then it's going to ask me how many results I want. So, so, and give me between 5 and 20 word combinations. I'm going to go ahead and select 20. It may take a little longer, but I think it'll be worth it. And then when I press the click to find possible domain names button, assuming no error is returned, because sometimes there could be network problems, uh, sometimes there could be timeouts, that's fine. I'm going to scroll back here and wait. Oh, look at that. I've got a couple of get it links. That means that these domains are not taken. So it scanned that website and picked up these particular possible domains. These aren't, some of these aren't taken, some of them are, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second because it looks like one of them is already taken. SolomonVisible.com, not taken, so I could register that. ChangingWindows.com, not taken. Changing Windows? That's, that's a pretty good domain. You, you could click and register it right there. All right, let's keep going. Expects Tonga. Okay, that one's not so interesting. WebinarZone.com, that one's taken. I've got a red X there. ScienceProvider.com is not taken. That's a pretty good one. DesignElusive.com, not taken. SeniorInternet.com is taken. WhatTreasurer.com, not taken. You can tell it's not taken because there's a Get It link right there. It tells you, hey, you can get it. Receive Budget and InfraredEmirates.com. CameraSelect.com, not taken. IssuesFrench.com, not taken. Switch Regaining, Comments, Practices, Lanka Linux, Total Full. Uh, I'm not even going to begin. To, that was a huge domain name there. Heard Ahoy, Vincent About, DiscoverTelescopes.com, not taken. So if I wanted to, I could click the Get It link for DiscoverTelescopes.com and register the domain. All I needed was to plug in any address that exists on the web right now, in this case, it happened to be a news story about the moon. Now, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and hit refresh. I didn't really any, see, moon didn't even come up in this list of possibilities. Any web address, mixing up two random words, slapping a .com on the end of it, and letting you know if it's registered or not. And if it's not registered, you can pick it up yourself. And then what you do with it from there, it's up to you. Motherread.com, not taken. Maldive Saint, unlocking share this, eh. Uh, mainframe Internet, not taken. AnonymousNetworking.com, not taken. Mobile United, not taken. Uh, boy, this is Mexico Email, not taken. Access Series. American Twin Fin, Created Spacecraft. Oh, finally, you get a space word in there. Uh, Europe Dominican. Some of these are interesting, some of them are not. Uh, but, it, you know, if anything else, it just gives you another outlet to do the things that you want to do find your own domain name, but you're just not feeling inspired. So again, to uh, run this yourself, you need to point your web browser to domains.tagjag.com. Not much to look at, but I tell you, it is functional, and I know of at least three people, three people, even though this is like extreme early beta, who have used this to register a domain name after plugging any, any web address into that field despite my inability to speak. Hopefully the script will work better for you. If you do run into an error, go ahead and try it again. We're still uh, debugging a few things and uh, have run into a few snags, but when you get it to work, I think you'll be happy. And you can't really you know, argue with the price of this ability, and that happens to be free. If you want to buy a domain name, that'll cost you something.
can't make everything free, can I? Well, at least these videos are. My email address, chris at perillo.com. If you use domains.tagjag.com and you register a domain, let me know. I'd be interested in seeing what combinations you've come up with. In fact, Danny, is Danny Minnick here? Danny is one of the people who registered a domain name using domains.tagjag.com. He was looking for a good domain name for his blog network that he wants to create. So I was very happy uh, to have provided that as an opportunity. Kind of neat how that works. You're more than welcome to join us in our community at geeks.perillo.com. And of course, you can also join us in the chat room, which is typically talking tech. Sometimes it's moderated, sometimes it's not. But you, you are more than welcome to participate uh, when you know we're around, which happens to be 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.